Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to another doll unboxing video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Wildflower from the latest line of LOL OMG dolls. I'm very excited about her. If we take a look at the back of the box really quick, I have already reviewed Victory and then Jams, and both of those were really, really amazing dolls. So like, I'm hoping that Wildflower is gonna keep the streak up, and it looks like she is. I mean, come on. She looks so cute. It's funny because she was one that I didn't immediately think I was going to buy. I think that Victory just really had me lasering in on her and I was super focused on her. But every time I saw this doll in like stock photos or posts online or seeing her in person, I liked her more and more. So I ended up having to get her. I'm very, very excited about her now. I know she's got like some butterfly designs going on, which I'm a huge, huge sucker for. So hopefully this is gonna be another super fun and exciting unboxing. If you guys do find yourself enjoying the video as we go through, if you could give it a like, that's super helpful to me. And then if you're new here and you enjoy your time, definitely subscribe so you can see more. But I'm gonna go ahead and get at least like the doll proper out. I will save all of her little mystery boxes on the side to open up together so that we can like have that little fun experience Experience. But yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the outer packaging off camera really quick and then we can come back together to do like the rest of the unboxing and talk about all of her details. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, we have Wildflower all unboxed. She is facing away just for now so we can look at all of her goodies really quick first. Obviously she is on her stand and then she comes with a pink LOL OMG brush and then she has her little fashion magazine telling us she is a Pisces. I always say I don't know that much about star signs so like this doesn't mean a ton to me, but for those of you who do know about star signs, there you are. And then which box do we want to get into first? Let's get our shoes. I'm kind of feeling shoes today. They're already halfway opened also, just from like how I managed to get them out of the box, so. All right. So very, very cute pink and white shoes. I hope you can see enough on camera the sculpted detail on like the bottoms, there's little butterflies sculpted everywhere. And I do feel like the white paint is pretty well placed on these, super solid. Next up, we've got a little baggie here. This is the point where it could be accessories, so I have to be a little bit more careful. Okay, no, this one's just her bag. This is a super cute bag though, guys. The plastic is a little bit bent from how it was packaged, but I should be able to like put that in super hot water and get it to straighten out. Look at this, it's so, so precious. Technically there is like a hole in the zip. You can't get anything in this bag. <laughs> like I appreciate the effort. You can't get anything in here, but it's so cute. It's got like the semi-transparent plastic, which y'all know I'm a sucker for. And it's just like a big flower. It's precious. I can't complain about this. So that means that this will be her accessories and I should be wary. I feel glasses already for sure. Oh, is it, is it just her glasses? Hold on. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'll get to the glasses in a second. In the bag with her, or in like the tissue paper with her purse was all of her other accessories that I just casually ignored. So I'm very glad that I spotted those. She has a choker sort of necklace that's like pearls and then a gold butterfly. And then she's got these amazing earrings that are kind of like more abstract butterflies. They're so, so cute. Very glad that I didn't miss those. I would have <laughs> been so upset if I accidentally threw those away. <laughs> and then to finalize the look, she's got some butterfly sunglasses. These are so, so cute. I'm not even always a like sunglasses fan for dolls because like a lot of the time it just means you can't see their face and their face is really cute. And that might end up being the case here. Like I might not display her with these on, but I can't argue with the design. So those are all of her extra goodies. Now we can take a look at the actual doll and right off the bat, look at her. Like, She's just so cute. I feel like this lineup from OMG is so strong. I love her makeup. I feel like everything is printed well. The little bit of like blush with her freckles is so, so cute. She's got pretty stiff little tendrils of hair here and her bangs are quite hard because they're all rolled up. But the style is really adorable. I will probably wash her and like try to soften it up at least a little bit. Like I, I get what they're going for and I get why it's like this. 
but I just like having hair that I can touch because it just feels really icky to me when it has like a ton of product in it. There's a bit of product in the back of her ponytail as well. I am probably going to wash this in the ponytail, so I'm sorry, but I'm not going to check the rooting. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know it's just a simple ponytail. I guess I, oh, but there's like this beautiful ribbon on it and it's all tied nice. Yeah, I'm probably gonna wash it like fully with the ribbon and everything and just not not risk it. I'm sorry. But talking about the ribbon, this is so nice. Like it's such a delicate little lace ribbon and it goes all the way around and it's properly tied. Like there's no Velcro or anything back here. This is just an actual piece of lace ribbon tied around her ponytail. And it's adorable. And like, yes, okay, I, I know that I could probably tie it back together, but her hair looks good and I just I just want to be able to wash the gel out and not mess up the style. So I'm sorry. I just can't risk it. Uh, moving on down to her outfit, like the outfit that she has on right now. Obviously, we will add all of her like goodies here in a second to complete it. But this is this is amazing. This is so, so good. These are like separate pieces, I believe. Yeah, you can see the arm pieces are like ones that have elastic up at the top. So you can just take these off. They're completely separate, but they're beautiful. I definitely don't want to take them off. Lace on the edge here. There's like a fine mesh overlay with this butterfly and flower design kind of printed on there. We've got gold butterflies and like a little drawstring tie at the middle to create that, not literally to create, like it's not a real drawstring, but you know, to create the bell shape. It's so pretty. We've got her little painted nails. And then I think I think her top is two pieces. This round of OMGs has had like a lot of layers. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, girly. First off, we've got this sort of corset situation with actual like string on here. I love all of the glitter. The string itself too, it's not really showing up on camera, but the string is actually also sparkly. It just looks so good. And then underneath that is a top that matches like her sleeves. So you could layer it, you could not layer it. You could take the sleeves off or you can leave them on. It's so cute. And then her pants have this butterfly design printed on the front. So like you can see both of her legs together create the whole butterfly. They're an amazing gradient and there's lace on the sides. There's pockets on the back. I didn't even realize that for a second. Oh my gosh. So yeah, actual pockets. I can't get much in there, but I can get like my fingernail in there. And they have butterflies printed on them. And then the bottom of her like flared jeans has layers of lace. There's like one, two, three layers of lace. And then also the actual pant. There's 3D bows sewn on here. I, I'm in shock. <laughs> like This line just keeps getting better for me. She's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to put her goodies back on so we can kind of see how everything looks on her. But yeah, I'm just so impressed. I was excited about Jams. Jams is probably the my least favorite out of the three that we've taken a look at on the channel. That's not to say that she's bad, but I think that Victory and now Wildflower are just stunning on such a different level. Like, I can't believe this doll is, I think, $25 in the U.S., that is crazy to me, given what else is available for the same price point. Her shoes are a bit hard to get on. Okay, sorry. The shoes gave me a bit of trouble there. You can't even hardly see them, <laughs> but they're there. They're cute. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is like the amount of fabrics and 3D details and like actual sewn on details, just the intricacy in general of this doll when you compare her to other dolls at a similar price point says a lot to me. Like she is just... A standout like this whole line from omg has really been so impressive oh my gosh i almost just broke her earring hold on that was a little scary i might have the earrings on backwards i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna take them out again anyway when i like wash her hair but yeah i just i think this is stunning i think the amount of detail and like her pieces and everything is absolutely amazing like look at how cute she looks with all of her goodies all put on let me turn around her necklace. This is so crazy adorable. I love her. I'm obsessed. Let me give her her bag. Come on now. 
I don't even know what to say. This is so cute. So <laughs> final thoughts. She's amazing. I don't even know what to call my favorite thing. I guess it would be all the materials. Like there's so many different things going on. There's a lot of lace. There's lace here and lace here and lace in her hair. There's overlays, there's different pieces. There's like the glitter corset. I'm stunned by how many kind of moving parts she has, so to speak, not like literally, but just the amount of effort put into this doll seems so high and the quality seems so high. I did have a little bit of trouble getting her shoes on. And if I had to pick a least favorite thing, it would be that the shape of the earrings and like the thinness does make them a little bit hard to get into the head without like bending them or potentially breaking them. But that's the most that I can say that's negative. Like this is a stunning doll. And I'm super, super happy that I get to have her. Definitely let me know what you guys think about her. If you've also purchased her, were you just as blown away as I was? I can only imagine the case is yes, right? <laughs> like, she's so pretty. But yeah, I am definitely happy to have her in my collection. Happy to share her with you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I do have my Amazon wishlist, P.O. Box, Instagram, and TikTok in the description down below. So if you guys want to support me in other ways, you can check those things out. But otherwise, I hope you all have a great rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye guys.